Sphinx Cat vs. Maine Coon Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Bald, wrinkled, and pot-bellied, the Sphinx is sometimes proclaimed to be ugly, but only by those who have a shallow understanding of beauty. His unusual body shape and the physiological and emotional warmth he emits are what attract people to him. Much like an apricot, the hard, muscular body of the Sphinx can be smooth or covered with a fine, soft down. The nose, toes, ears, and tail may also have a light covering of fur. To hug him is to melt into the warmth of his suede-like coat. A sphinx does not have a higher body temperature than other cats, but it seems like it because there is no fur to serve as insulation. A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach, and breeches, the long fur on the upper hind legs, with a rough in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium-width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well-tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold, or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. It's a good thing that the Sphinx loves attention because he draws it wherever he goes. He is demanding human attention and will do anything for a laugh. Look at me. Is his catchphrase. That makes him easy to handle by veterinarians or anyone else, and it's not unusual for a Sphinx to be a therapy cat since he is so fond of meeting people. When he is not receiving the attention of his adoring fans, the curious and energetic Sphinx is exploring his surroundings, climbing his cat tree or otherwise seeking high places, chasing a bug, or just generally getting into mischief. He is extremely fond of teaser toys and puzzles toys that challenge his athleticism and brains. This is a highly social cat. If you are gone during the day, the Sphinx will enjoy having a friend in the form of another Sphinx, another cat, or even a dog. He likes the company and, equally important, he likes having someone to snuggle with so that he stays warm. He loves to be held, and you can expect him to sleep with you, most likely under the covers. Think of it as having a living hot water bottle. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or watered up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on the ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Sphinx and Maine Coons are generally healthy, although the following diseases have been seen in Sphinx. Articaria pigmentosa, a skin disease that causes crusty sores on the body. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a form of heart disease that is inherited in some cat breeds such as the Maine Coon. Heritability has not been proven in the Sphinx. Problems that may affect the Maine Coon include the following. Hip dysplasia, which in severe cases can cause lameness. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a form of heart disease that is inherited in Maine Coons. A DNA-based test is available to identify cats that carry one of the mutations that cause the disease. Polycystic kidney disease, a slowly progressive heritable kidney disease that can result in renal failure. Spinal muscular atrophy, a genetic disorder that affects skeletal muscles of the trunk and limbs. A test is available to identify carriers and affected kittens. Despite his bald body, a sphinx requires at least as much grooming as cats with fur and maybe even more. 
Their skin must be kept moisturized with a gentle, scent-free lotion or oil, and they need weekly baths so as not to leave greasy spots on their furniture and clothing. Use a gentle baby shampoo or moisturizing shampoo and rinse thoroughly, especially between the folds of the wrinkles. If you begin bathing your Sphinx kitten while he is young, he will learn to accept and sometimes even enjoy baths. Baby wipes will help to keep him clean between baths. Although the Sphinx feels warm to the touch, he doesn't have a fur coat to keep him warm. If you're cold, he probably is too. Buy him a nice sweater or two to help him retain heat. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles, and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe the Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep Sphinx and Maine Coon as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Sphinx and the friendly, laid-back Maine Coon are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They learn tricks easily and loves the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They live peacefully with dogs and other cats. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.